Young lady, listen, come close. Let me tell you the secret of structuring yourself to stand unique and respectful by men. You know, the problem with you guys these days is that you don't believe in yourself. Oh, yes. You don't believe in yourself. What? The first thing you need to do as a lady to stand unique and virtuous is to remove the mindset of depending on a man for survival. If you wish to be respected and valued, don't be a liability to any man. This has destroyed so many ladies emotionally and psychologically. Don't marry a poor man no matter how much he has. No. Am I confused? No, I'm not confused. What I mean is that a man can have money but still be poor. Riches do not entail having money. Riches entail having virtuous value and respect for humanity. The life most crucial goal is who you marry. Oh yes, don't think that quitting a marriage is so easy, especially when you start having kids. Do not marry a man because you think he loves you. Some love can be casual and any love that is reasons can be defined or doesn't have any value dispensation is a casual love and such a love can never give you a happy marriage if he loves you because of your big hips or your shape what will happen if those things fade away if he loves you because of your standing breast what if the breast falls any love that is based on the pleasure of the sight is a casual love that fades over time true love does not have a reason an accumulated feeling that is reason cannot be explained is what true love is all about not someone who will meet you today and start telling you about how much he loves you i do see some ladies say that a man who cannot provide their needs is a no for them this is a very wrong mindset my dear what happens to your happiness and rest of mind or do you think money can can buy happiness go and make inquiries there are some ladies in their wealthy marriages yet they are not happy place some values around yourself my dear and respect yourself this will place you higher in value don't get me wrong i'm not against a lady wishing to marry a wealthy man my dear in fact everyone wants a good life okay what i'm saying is that getting married to a wedding man shouldn't be your utmost priority your main concern should be based on building yourself and your happiness not looking for a man to build you that's why when one money misread entices you with material things or money you will forget to to see the red flags thereby landing yourself into a tragic marital trap you can't afford to make a mistake when it comes to marriage you can't afford that my dear you are a soul to be loved not a commodity to be exploited a word is enough for the wise